two new normalization routine syntax. So we have new normalization routines which allow for mass deleting of fields and another one which can replace the contents inside a specific fixed field. For example, the leader, the 008, the 005. I can say if there's a 022, which means it's a journal, ISSN, then change position whatever from M to S. Let's take a look at those. So everybody knows the convenient way to view a normalization rule is in the metadata editor. And in the metadata editor, I can do file new normalization rule. And after the normalization rule is created, it appears here in the navigation pane uh, under normalization rules. And I want to look at the text of two of them. Let's start with this one. This is called delete 9xx fields. This actually came from a professional services person, this request. Because right after the migration, they wanted to run a job to do certain things on certain records. And they tried with an asterisk here, and it wasn't working. Now we can use this feature, remove field 9 asterisk will automatically delete all 900 fields. But let's say I want to be a little more intricate in my normalization routine. Got all kinds of examples here. Let's say uh, I want to delete only in certain cases. For example, when uh, ISSN exists, or when position 5 of the leader, I can add everything here. This one here is going to delete all my 900 fields. Let's give it a quick test now. We'll go to the records. Let's take this library science we've been hanging around with. It's got two 900 fields, a 906 and a 955. I want to test and see what's going to happen with this. I can switch to the net, uh, split editor mode, open up my rule, delete nine XX fields, edit it. I gotta be in the other pane, one moment please. Records, split editor mode, focus on the right pane, rules, edit. Okay, so on the right I've got my Rule, on the left, my record, I'm going to say preview, and all the 900s are gone. I can then take my normalization rule and, as you know, put it in many other places. I can run a process which will work on a whole set. I can make a fixed routine every time I save a record, etc. What I can also do with this deletion is like this one here in the 92x. Here, I say remove 92 asterisk. So here, let's say I add another field, edit, add field, and now I'm going to add a 921 with a subfield A, apples and bananas. And now I run this one. Preview. All the 900s are gone. I mean, all the 900s are there except for the 92. Because now I said delete 92 asterisk. So that's a nice feature. A library says, I'm importing records from Library of Congress. I don't want all their 900 fields. You can put in a fixed routine, normalization routine, and automatically delete the 900s. Now, Quick trivia question. Let's say I've got this record here. I'll add, edit, add field, 921, whatever. I save it. It automatically deleted the 921 when I saved it. Why did it do that? 
This fix routine here, delete all 92x fields. Let's say I want to delete all of my 900 fields. Every time I save a record, I want to delete all my 900 fields. I'm going to take this one here called delete all 9xx fields. And I'm going to add it to the routine which is done when I save a record. So we can see how one of these routines not only exists, but how we can apply it somewhere. And it's not the ints section of tab fix. Here we go. I'm going to go to my resource configuration menu, to my metadata configuration, to my Mark 21 bibliographic, and to my normalization routines. Then I've got one here called Mark Bib Normalize on Save. All of the routines which exist here in the Normalize on Save is what's done when I save a record in the metadata editor. Actions Edit. Task List. I'm going to add another one for the Mark Drool Normalization. The Mark Drool Normalization are the tasks which are done at various stages in the system. These are the normalization routines. The drool is a special terminology for the language we saw inside the normalization routine. So I'm going to add a mark drool normalization. Add to selection. Now there's another one up here. Save. Now in my tasks, mark normalize on save, actions edit. In my task parameters, I can add here any of these, and I'm going to add delete all 9xx fields. Save. I've got another one already listed here to add a 0820 with 296.5 YLK. Every record I save will get 296.5 YLK to the 082, and all the 900 fields deleted. Watch this. Open the metadata editor. Uh, file, new, Mark 21, bibliographic record. I'm going to remove this field. Now I'm going to add some 900 fields. I have no 082, everybody sees. Add field. Add field again. This is going to be a 900 Another one, 955. Save the record. Everybody sees I've got two 900 fields and I don't have a 082. Save the record. It's getting normalized on save. We added it now on the spot. It's not pre-planned. Look at that, 082 automatically got added. My 900s automatically got deleted because I took that new feature with the 9 asterisk that deletes all 900s, put it in the normalize on save, and it's all deleted. The other normalization rule which we've added is to be able to replace control contents. Here I'm saying in the leader, replace position 6 for one position with E. This is the syntax. Here I've said if my 245H is map or carte, then automatically change position 6 to an E, which means it's cartographic material. So if I have any record, let's take this. No one here from Calgary. I don't have here an E. I'm going to make my subfield H be map. Save. Let's test that one out. Split editor mode. Rules. Edit. Preview. It's going to change position 6 of the leader. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is now an A. Preview. And look at that. It's now an E. Because I've got map here and I did replace control contents. Okay, so thank you everybody. Have a nice day everybody.